Hey guys, Mr. Minus is here, and this time I'm going over trapezoidal rule, blah, 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 trapezoidal rule with you. Um, it's the second part of my uh, video on area under the curve, um, given not being able to do it with a function, but maybe doing it with Riemann sums. In this case, we got what's called the trapezoidal rule. So let's take a look at these trapezoids here. Um, we're going to approximate this right here, this curve here, by using uh, trapezoids. So uh, I've given you the trapezoids. Now, what you got to think about with the trapezoidal rule is that uh, this side right here is base 1. This side right here is base 2. And this length right here is your height. And remember that the area of a trapezoid is 1 half the height times base 1 plus base 2. Okay, so um, notice here that uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to add each of these each of these trapezoids together. Now this one right here, this one's a triangle, right? So that one's going to be uh, one half times the base, which was two. And notice all these are um, well, this is supposed to be um, well, these aren't actually right lined up, but okay. Uh, so this one's three right there, right? So this is going to be one half times uh, the base times the height. In this case, since we're doing a triangle here, um, let's just say base one. If this is a trapezoid, base one is zero, and base two is four. Okay, I got that from right here. Okay, this is base two right there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the second one. That's going to be one half times the height. And base 1 was 4, and base 2 is 3. 1 half times the height, in this case, is 1. Base 1 is 3. Base 2 is 2. And again, these are the bases. These distances are the heights. And you got to basically try to turn this to the side if you're having trouble viewing that. Um, 1 half times 2. Base 1 was uh, 2. And base 2, in this case, is 2. Plus our last one is one half times a height of two, and then two plus five because this is five right here. Okay, and then this would be the area of that region in trapezoids. Let's take a look if we had an actual function. So we have a function here. Okay, I'm going to plot these points. There's x squared. Okay, and I want to uh, find the area bounded below the x-axis and left by zero, and on the right of it to sketch and draw the trapezoids first, and I want four trapezoids, okay? So I'm going to have four trapezoids, so I'm going to break this up, one, two, three, four, equal, like that, and I'm going to go up here, down there. The first one's almost always going to be a triangle, up here down there up to my function down there up to my function down there so there are my trapezoids and notice here that I had a one-half each time right and a one-half each time so I'm always gonna have a one-half and notice here that this was the height 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 one two three four five how many Trapezoid it have one two three four five so I have if all these were the heights right and if they're all equal in this case they're one half I can factor out that one half so I'm gonna factor out that one half and what am I left with I'm left with the difference the difference or I'm sorry the sum I don't know what happened there I'm left with the sum of base 1 and base 2. Okay, so I'm left with 0 plus, look at 4 and 4 comes twice. Okay, so I'm going to have, in this case, uh, I'm going to have to plug in, right? This is, let me write these out here. Okay, base 1, base 2, base 3, base 4. Each of these, I'm going to plug in one half. In this case, I'm going to plug in one half into my x squared, right? So it's going to be one half squared. And then this point right here is going to be uh, one squared. This point's going to be 
uh, 3.5 squared, so one actually 1.5 squared, and this one's going to be 2 squared. Okay, so I'm going to have 2 times 1 fourth plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times 9 fourths. Again, I'm just taking 3 halves and squaring it, and plus 4. Okay, and this is what I'm going to have for my area. This is called, this special rule right here is called the trapezoidal rule. And basically, we're, we're instead of doing Riemann sums, we're doing trapezoids. All right. So uh, I have the trapezoidal rule here. Okay. So it's, it's one half, because that's part of the formula, one half the width, okay, equal widths times the first height, the first height, which I call base one, plus two times the second height. Because I'm going to end up with two of them, right? If you look over here on my la my first example, notice I had two fours, and then I had two threes, and I had two twos, and then again two twos, and then my last part was a five. So I had one of the endpoints and two of each of the inside parts. And that's the trapezoidal rule. Now, if you're like, oh, I don't want to remember the whole trapezoidal rule. Just remember how to take area of trapezoids. One half width times base one uh, plus base two. All right, so let's use the trapezoidal rule. This time we have data. Let's go and use the trapezoidal rule for this last example here. So I'm going to have one half times the width. In this case, we can easily see is 10. Right? Now we're going to go each of these. So we're going to start with the first one. That's going to be 1.8 times or plus two times the second one that's going to be two plus two times the third one which is 2.5 plus two times the fourth one which is 3.5 plus the last one which is 2.2 okay and there you go that is the trapezoidal rule guys see you next time